let's get into Michael Jackson and what happened in those final hours of his life, really. Let's go. Michael Jackson, the king of pop. The end of his life, things were very down for him. Let's look into this. Hello, my friends. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dee Sparta. Yes, I'm a psychic medium. Um, I do tarot readings. I cover true crime, pop culture, K-pop, conspiracy theories, uh, haunting, paranormal, you name it. You know, I cover it. And today, yes, as I mentioned and before, we are going to be talking about the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Yay! I grew up just a, a fan of Michael Jackson and loving his music and respecting his ability. And I think back then, as we saw what happened to Britney Spears, also was happening with him. Paparazzi, y'all suck. Y'all sucked back then. It was horrible. And I think um, now with social media and celebrities having their own media presence and they make themselves available, it's not as big of a deal to try and catch so much stuff in secret. I, I You don't hear about, you know, these throngs of paparazzi not allowing people. Well, you do, but not, it, 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 was, it was really bad. You know, look at Princess Diana. Mm, they're still bad, but I mean, not all, but it's, it's, it's a different, different time. Uh, I think people are be learning to respect each other more. As I always say at the end of the videos, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, because yeah, you gotta be, you know. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Come on, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Comment, let me know what kind of videos you want to see me do next. Um, right now, you know, I'm going to put in the chapter link so that you can just jump right to the tarot and psychic reading. Or if you would like, guess what? <laughs> you can stick around a little bit and we'll talk about, um, what happened to Michael Jackson in the end and, um, who, how did he really die and who was charged with it? And, you know, we'll just get into all that. So, if you're going to stick around, please do so. If not, well, I will see you on the other side. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Thank you for sticking around. I, I appreciate it. I am... This is a hard one because he always had such a, a soft spot in my heart. And... Seeing people going after him for money and accusations of things that, you know, I I don't think were ever proven. I, You know, you want to believe victims, but then you got others who are like, well, it didn't happen with us. And you're like, but at the same time, he was never charged. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. And I don't get a vibe of him being... You know, I think if he was ever inappropriate, it was mainly out of an awkward um, social skills, I think, is what we're looking into more. Um, an awkward in his social skills. He um, grew up in a, who is it, Seventh-day Adventist? Or was it Jehovah Witness? I, for, I can't believe, I can't remember. I used to know all this stuff. I've gotten old. A large family, he's got... You know, there's the Jackson Five, and he has his sisters. And his parents, we know, they his dad was kind of rough and controlling and a little abusive and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> People ridiculed him because of his skin. He's had a skin condition, so 
people thought, you know, he's just trying to look white. He did have a lot, a lot of plastic surgery, but I see, you know, it seems so normal these days. It's normalized. It's not something people are like, oh, did someone get plastic surgery? Oh my gosh. You know? Well, anyway, Michael Jackson, he was born August 29th, 1958 in Gary, Indiana. And every time I say, I keep wanting to just start singing Gary, Indiana, Indiana. <laughs> that right. It's, a, it's an old movie, okay? <laughs> and he did pass away, unfortunately, at the year um, at the age of fifty um, in Los Angeles, um, June twenty fifth of two thousand nine. His cause of death is acute propofol and benzodiazepine intoxication. <sighs> Burial place is. Forest Lawn uh, Memorial Park in Glendale, California. My family, I have relatives also buried there and have been there. It's really gorgeous. I got to tell you, it's one of, my, one of my favorite places to hang out. Just if I wanted to peace and calm. Yeah, it sounds a little weird, but it really is a beautiful place. Anyway, in August of 2009, the Los Angeles County Coroner ruled that Jackson's death was a homicide. Law enforcement officials charged Murray, um, his um, doctor at the time, with involuntary ma manslaughter on February 8th of 2010. Now, in late 2011, he was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter and held without bail to wait sentencing. He was sentenced to a mere four years in prison. Now, when it comes to Michael Jackson's birth chart, I just, I really couldn't get anything where I could say definite his rising sign is. You know, I got his, you know, I could tell you what year and what day and area so I could figure out his sun signs are Virgo and the moon sign is Pisces. But when it comes to the rising, I, it was flipping between Aries and Pisces, Aries and Pisces. And so I don't know. I wish I had better information on that. Um, you see a lot Virgos do are, we see it hear more and more about them in the music industry and in acting. Uh, it has a lot to do with, you know, their, um, the character, different character traits that you find hardworking, you know, work, 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 you know, goal oriented, you know, they, they put a lot of pressure on themselves um, and sometimes on others. But for them, it's like, you know, I got to get this done. I'm going to get it done. And it's usually amazing. And they're like, I don't know if this is right or not. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, they're very loyal. They're kind. They're extremely shy and really diff critical of themselves. Like they're never good enough. They got to change this. They got to do this. They got to do that. And we see that uh, some of those things in Michael Jackson. Um, the Pisces moon is makes him compassionate, artistic, intuitive. You know, he's got it all. He was very, very, very talented. And, I just, hmm. I don't think Dr. Murray or Murray, he got, you know, four years for what he did. He was giving and um, he was the one administering those, those medications that were so hardcore to sleep. I, I have insomnia and I know it's rough. And you just kind of, you know, if you can't sleep and when your body does shut down, it shuts down. And I've been on some pretty, I've been on some different medications to try and help me with sleeping. Trazodone, that one I'm glad I'm off of because 
not cool, not cool. The withdrawals were bad. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it's difficult. And I just, I have a hard time seeing him as someone who would have harmed others. He just, I don't know. But you know what? We're going to get into this tarot reading. We're going to see if I, you know, if I hear anything from him. And, you know, if I do, great. I hope. You know, I'd like to know what he's thinking, I guess. Yeah, I do. So, um, yeah. Let's get into that tarot reading. Oh, might as well just jump right on in, huh? All right, folks. I'll see you there. Hello, my friends. How are y'all doing? Well, yes, we're getting into the tarot reading. I am listening to some Michael Jackson. Kind of help me kind of channel him. See what happens. Please remember that this is all alleged and for entertainment. So, I'm using my Light Seer, Sears Tarot deck. I just love this deck. I really do. It's so beautiful. The artwork just like whew, stunning. As you know, you've seen this deck a little bit. And I think I've seen other tarot people use this. I've had this deck for years, and I think this is like my. I think when it first came out, I got it, and then I had to reorder it. This is like my second or third. Mm. All right. Okay. What's going on? I just keep hearing his children. Just worry about his children. And okay, that's seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands reversed. And the Page of Swords, okay? All right, and we can see all these here. Everything I've had so much technical issues. I had to reset up everything. I don't know what happened over the weekend, but, you know, I think my cats might have pulled cords. Anyway, wow. Okay, so you see the Seven of Pentacles, and it's got the roots showing, you know, all the hard work. Um, and yeah, he just, we know he worked hard, he persevered, um, but there was some issues and we look at here's the eight of wands fire, it's reversed. This is, um, he's slowing down. This is slowing down. He'd been working really hard. There was a panic. He was worried. He was panicking about something, overthinking things. Um, he needed to slow down. And as the Page of Swords is here, this is, um, fly, you know, this is air. This is um, restlessness. Um, there was no peace. He just, it's like he was being forced to take a break to stop from all his hard work, but he kept wanting to do more. Wasn't he, he was working on something or a concert or a production or something just before, uh, and I, I, I think he was, because that's definitely what I see here. Very restless. You know, he really was still nervous about going on stages after what happened with Pepsi, and they let off all that, you know, um, pyrotechnic stuff and psh, it burnt his hair out. It burnt his head, his heart. He was in, he had injuries. Okay. So that's why he was on some really hardcore pain meds also because of injuries from that. Not just from his wear and tear and his body dancing, but what happened in that, that I think that it was emotionally jarring and physically, I get a real strong sense. Um, 
his kids. He really loves those children, his children. Oh my gosh, I keep seeing them. And yeah, what do I pull up is the family card, the Ten of Cups. He worked hard. He wanted to make sure his kids benefited from all his hard work. He, wa he also wants them to try and achieve their dreams. Not be forced into situations as his father had done to him. He didn't want to be like his dad. And that's when he wanted to raise children. So, you know, and almost be vicarious, you know, what I can do differently. And this is the sun, which is family, success, joy. But he was needing to slow down. But I think he felt the most success came from being a father. That was it. It was being a father. That was the biggest thing for him. Okay, so I see he, he was covering his kids' faces. He knew what it was like, he's telling me, growing up and everyone knowing my face and chasing me and trying to get me down. I didn't want them to know my children's faces yet. It had to be up to them. I don't want to do what my dad did, but the fact that he was so popular everywhere he'd go. So while it seemed very odd to some people, I am seeing this as a way, as this is a way to protect his children from them having to go through what he did. As much as little, you know, like paranoia of being bombarded by paparazzi all the time. <sighs> and I see the emperor here. And this is his father energy that we're seeing. I got, I, it's just like, um, his father scared him. His father, he feels that his father was doing what he did the best he knew how with what he knew and understood and wanted the best for his family and his boys. Um, excuse me, I need some coffee. He just didn't want to make the same mistakes. Trying having relationships was really hard for him. I think he... Um, Although he had this, you know, sexual energy and his music. I think he was too busy working too much to really want to commit into a relationship, be able to. Yeah, here's the Four of Pentacles. Um, he wanted security for his family. He, um... I hated how frugal my parents were with me. I was making money, he, and it was like they were holding on to it all, okay? This is why he went lavish and spending lots of money. Um, it's like, I have all this money, what do I do? I could donate it, I could do this, I could do this, and you just have more than what you can do with I could. I, I, guess, I get it, dude. <laughs> Here's the Five of Cups, and it's reversed. Often, this is a cup, a, a card of grief. So, he he has found acceptance and he's found peace. Seeing his children, he watches his children from afar. He cares so much about them. It breaks his heart when he sees the the pain that they've been through and being tossed. He feels like no one is taking care of his kids right. They kept debating, you know, taught, bringing them back and forth for whoever. There's, he's like, all for their own personal gains. They just wanted money. They just want to have control. And here's the Seven of Swords. Um, making choices, being sneaky, 
you know, kind of, you know, well, not sneaky, but he was subtle. <laughs> he was searching for purpose all the way up to the end. Finding, he wanted to find more purpose. What is our, why am I here? I thought I was here to create this music and bring the world together with music. I loved doing that. But they tore me down. They didn't understand me. They misunderstood my feelings and what I did and didn't do and accused me of things I would never do. And I just want to cry with him. Oh, okay. I had lost my purpose. I lost my purpose. My entire, my, everything's been taken from me. I have my children. Okay, I get it. Oh, oh God, the pain. Oh, <laughs> he was so devastated and everything gone. It was like, and he just was throwing money at me. He was like, why do I care anymore? I'm suffering. I am suffering mental health. People aren't leaving me alone. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm like, a mascara mess going on. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just want to hug him. Big, huge hug. He didn't like Dr. Murray, but he needed Dr. Murray, is what I'm hearing. I didn't like what the medication was doing to me mentally. I couldn't, I didn't have that creativity. There's a blockage from it. This wasn't helping. But if without it, he felt a lot of horrible things and was very depressed and the, it kept upping the dosage. His body was getting used to it and nobody else would help him but Murray. But he didn't like the guy. He knew he was being taken advantage of. Yep, here's the magician. Mmm, interesting. He kind of... Let's see here. What is going on here? Then the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay. This is being, like I said, he could, this is all about creating and manifesting things. And he was struggling with that. And you see that here with the Ten of Cups where he's stressed out. He's burnt out. He, he wanted to do things on his own. He was not one to delegate to too much delegating when it came to like a lot of his creative control. Uh, I think so much had been taken away from him by his controlling parents it's like, I need to do this. I can do this on my own. Okay. And then I have the four of swords. That's sad. This, this imagery right here just breaks my heart. Um, this is getting rest. Contemplation. I think Murray, he was getting tired. He was, he knew what was going on with his meds was wrong. Um, but he saw the pain in Michael and he wanted to help him. He's also getting paid. Um, I think I know. So I'm gonna just, I'm like, really? So, um, I'm going to pull out my Letterman deck. I love this deck. 
I know I say that a lot, but it's true. Okay. Mm. I did meet Michael Jackson. And I just had this memory of just seeing him. And I just... He was starved for acceptance and just wanting to be loved. He wanted his own family so that he could love them and he could find love. But let's get into Dr. Murray, who's who I'm looking at here. And soon, you know, I pull out this deck because I wanted to focus on him and who pops up. We got our sly little fox. You know, he's a deceptor, trickster, he's a troublemaker, and I, I see him just getting frustrated with Michael. I can see him tempted to try and up things a little bit more than they should have been. At time, I just, I'm, I'm serious, folks. Um, here is, okay, here's the compass. Nah, yeah, look further into him, man. I knew that. Um, he was trying, he was looking at his life's journey. That's really what it's like. I am just sitting here. I am this grown man's babysitter. I'm a grown man's babysitter. I think there was stuff he wanted to... Um, bring to light about Michael Jackson. I really think he thought he was going to be able to do something. He wanted to become successful. His whole goal, but... Here's at home. Where was Murray was in Michael Jackson's home? He was there at the moment he, Michael Jackson died. I don't see him doing much to try and resuscitate. He knew it was happening. It was like he was sacrificed. This was a set, you know, I need my freedom. He's been suffering so long. I'm just going to let this go. It was almost like he's, he, I see him rationalizing, like, see, I'm actually helping him find peace. He feels that he did it out of love. But it, it was really selfish. I think the way he, got, try, he was trying to get through life, you know, was, oh, you know, I cared about him. I was trying to take care of him. Yep. 38. It's the bridge. Let's see here. What? To the night. Oh. This is our reputation. He was really concerned about his reputation and being successful. He really was. It was like. I gotta be this guy, and I'm gonna be, you know, and, and being known as the one who killed Michael Jackson. Um, four years was not enough time in prison. Uh, uh, that sucks, folks. Well, I hope that... You enjoyed this reading. I I really felt Michael Jackson's presence. And I still do. He's such a sweetheart. And he could come across, like some people would say, he, because of his shyness, as arrogant. Because he was such a hard worker and always like pushing, pushing, pushing. Some people would not would think maybe he's harsh, but no. He just had a 
strong work ethic instilled in him. Okay, folks. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I appreciate y'all being here for this reading. Thank you for sticking around as long as you have. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please do so. Hit the like button. Let me know if you like this video. Comment. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see me do next. Boom. I'm sorry, I got Michael Jackson still going in my head. Oh, yeah.